as you can hear in the background, we got some awesome music going on. We're trying to get a couple rabbits in the bag, see if we can't get it done. Alright, we've had some shots fired. The rabbit was coming straight this way, but he happened to cross my dad on the way here, so let's see if he got him. He said he cut him a flip, but he took off running, so we'll see if the dogs can catch it. Alright, so that first shot was a miss, so... Well, they just jumped another one, so we right back in the game. All right, guys, ended up getting one. First one in a little while. We missed this rabbit two or three times. And it got in a creek and ended up having to uh, kind of help the dogs out. It's tough. We've been, uh, we've been at it for a while. But for some reason, the dogs just can't keep it up. But, um, we got enough to do a, a kill and cook now, so that's what we're going to do. But, um, uh, we're going to keep on hunting, see if we can't get one more. Well, I'd like to get a couple more, but at least one more. But we'll get back with y'all here in just a little bit. Tore that one up a little bit. Hang that up in the tree. Um, both of them's right here. Well, it's not ready for that one. That rabbit was way ahead of them dogs, but 
did what we needed to do on that one. Come on! Let's go see if we can't get one more. All right, guys. We finally got back home last night. We ended up only killing two rabbits, which is normally way better than that. But um, got home last night and it was raining, so we didn't get to skin them on camera. But we got our both hams right here. Um, we got our flour already poured up. We're just gonna add our seasonings to the flour. Pretty much, we're gonna use um, some Troy's Swamp Shakes. Kind of got a, a good kick to it. It's gonna try to harden on me. We use this for um, pretty much fish, um, any of our anything we want that have a good kick to it. This stuff's got a real good, um, real good spice to it. So I like to use that, especially if it's just me eating it. I got got to where I like a little bit of heat. We're gonna add some uh, onion powder to it. some get it open. some garlic and then we're gonna add some Italian seasoning all right then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our legs out we soaked them in milk for probably 10 hours. No, it'd be longer than that, it'd be about 12 hours. Normally we do it for for 12, at least 12. There's a couple little small spots on here I want to get off real quick. But um, make sure we got everything good and cleaned up. Ain't nobody likes to eat a hair. But, um, we're going to go ahead and shake that up until that's mixed up pretty good. Matter of fact, I'm going to throw the lid on there and shake it up. That should be good. Alright. We're going to take and put our legs in there. Both of them. We like to soak it in that milk so uh, that milk helps get a lot of that game taste out. So. Soak it in that milk for a, a decent amount of time. A lot of times, if you got anything that's got any gamey taste to it, a lot of times it'll take it out. But squirrels is, I guess, what I would say that have the most game taste to me. And uh, it normally does pretty good, but rabbits, we don't hardly ever have to worry about them. They're normally pretty good. Shake it up real good. Make sure they're good and coated. And see, they're pretty much completely gone in there. So, that worked out good. Now let's uh, add some grease and get it cooking. And then um, we'll get back with y'all. <clears throat> Alright, we got our oil in the pan. All we done was poured enough in there to cover about half of uh, half of the back leg because you're going to cook it on one side and then flip it over and cook it on the other. We got our stove on about five and a half, six. Um, we'll give it about five, ten minutes and then we'll come back and check it and see what it looks like. Alright, our oil's ready now. So what we're going to do is we're going to ease them in. You don't want to slosh that grease. Real easy. Go ahead and get these both over in there. Then we'll let it cook for probably, I think it's about 10 minutes on each side. And uh, then we'll flip it over and cook it on the other side. All right, they've been in there about 11 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and ease them over. Oh yeah. And we're gonna 
gonna let that side cook about the same time. And we'll go ahead and set a timer so I don't forget. Almost done. Alright guys. They are done. We're gonna go ahead and take them out and set them on this plate here. A good and golden brown like I like them. Perfect. All right, we done let it cool off now. Now we're gonna cut a little piece off and see what it tastes like. Ooh, it's still hot. I guess that'll let it cool off. Mmm. Ooh, that sure is good. Heck yeah. It's good and tender and everything. I didn't but figure it'd be that tender. Heck yeah. Rabbit sure is good. But we're going to leave a, uh, a recipe down in the description below so y'all can do the exact same thing. Y'all can go out and kill a rabbit and cook it up just like we did. But, um, if y'all like this video, y'all make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And, uh, because everything we're doing is for y'all. But, um, thanks for watching, and, uh, we'll catch y'all next time.